Good afternoon, cattle country. Welcome back to another episode of Farm and Ranch Hacks. I'm Cody Ward with Rock and W Ranch, and today we're going to do a quick walk around of the crown line bed that we installed. If you didn't see our install video already, you should check it out. I'll put a link to that in the description below. But now that I've had this thing a little while, I wanted to do a quick walk around and talk just a little bit about the bed, what we think, how well it's gone, um, and how we like it. I really like this bed so far. There's a couple of things I'll talk about that I think are really uh, neat and some ex extras that we've added to it that I like. And a couple of things I'll talk about that I think can maybe be improved in a future version. First of all, the powder coating on this bed has been extremely high quality. You can see that, well, I don't know what this is gonna look like in the video camera, but this thing is filthy. This is just dirt. There's very little rust anywhere and this thing has not been babied. In fact, when we put this on, I don't know if you'll be able to see this on the camera, but we put a dent right there. I say we, I put a dent right there with the front end loader. Pretty good smash, zero rust whatsoever so far. It's actually held up quite, quite well. So that's all been very good. I mean, I've got wire and junk that's dragged across this thing and it's really uh, not hurt it. So the, the quality of the powder coating has been great. I think the bed itself functions really well. I mean, obviously it's a, it's a bale bed, so it's not like there's anything just unbelievably proprietary here. Uh, but the, the thing that I actually did that is a nice, I say I, Jeremy Boofer did, that's a nice little uh, aftermarket upgrade, is we took the camera that came out of the bumper on my truck and we installed it right here. Now, the lines on that camera are set up to be pointed down, angled from the tailgate onto a trailer. Uh, but when you're backing up, trying to get down onto this receiver, you definitely want some angle. So you can just kick this down a little bit and those lines line right up with the actual uh, hitch that you're trying to hook up to. That's fantastic. Uh, it's not anything that comes from the factory. I'm sure you could get a camera if you wanted to. Um, the other thing that I've really liked is the fact that these spikes, I'm not gonna walk around and do it up front, but these spikes actually store right inside here on this side. There's two little sleeves that hold each one of these spikes so they can't get stolen when they're not in use. They're pinned down below, of course, so they're not gonna get taken off or uh, somebody's gonna walk away with them. So that's been really good and I like that. And then these rails, they've got pins the holes from the factory were just a little bit off, but I found some pins that I was able to make work and make these things stay in. Um, had these these uh, boxes ordered as well. Nice place to be able to lock up extra tools and different things, and they've held up really, really nicely so far. So that's all been good. I'll say there are two very small gripes that I have about this, and I wouldn't even say they're gripes. They're just design things that I would be doing a little bit differently if I were gonna make one of these. When I got each one of these spikes from the factory, uh, first thing that I went to do is actually put them in, make sure they all fit, and I couldn't get the pins to go through the second spike. And I went, oh no, we've got a real problem on our hands. I ended up swapping the spikes, and because of the way the holes are drilled, you have to put a certain spike in a certain hole. I don't really think that's a big deal. You just have to, there's two little sleeves there, you store them where you need them, um, and they work out fine. So it's just a, it's just a small thing. And then this is more of a, a design preference. Oh, fat boy's got to get up. I will say getting into your getting into your bed, being able to use those spikes as a handhold is actually really nice. But you can see this ball is not uh, secured directly to the frame. I've had other of these that have actually like a uh, a B&W ball that there's nothing here, but it's connected directly to the frame. I'm not an engineer. I don't know anything about designing beds. So let me just start there in terms of the actual use of this thing. But to me, it seems like it would be a little bit more secure to actually make that a separate piece that was installed directly to the frame. So that might be one thing to think about if you wanted to uh, think about the pros and cons of these, these beds. But so far, really, really pleased. It's held up fantastically well. You can see this thing does not get babied. It's just an old farm truck and uh, it's really held up fantastically. So thank you to Crownline. Stevens Truck Center in Oklahoma City is the, uh, the dealer that we got this through. Those guys do fantastic work. So if you're interested in getting one of these beds, definitely give them a call. They can hook you up and do a, a really, really great job 
uh, getting it uh, over to you and installed. So hope you guys are having a fantastic day and we'll talk to you soon.